I didn't know how it was played, how many people. I didn't even know it existed in Toronto, but I thought it was super cool, so I got a set of skates. I got them 30 minutes before my first practice and signed up. That was in May of 2015, and I've been doing it ever since. So the roller derby scene in Toronto is pretty unique. We're a big city with a lot of people in it, which is really cool. It means that Toronto Roller Derby can have maybe around 100 people in it at any given time. It means that we have four home teams that get to compete against each other, which is pretty unheard of. Um, in other Ontario roller derby scenes, uh, they're pretty much small towns and they have to travel to play against other people. So we're really lucky. To train for roller derby games is uh, its a really long process. Um, you have to learn how to skate. It generally takes like three months to even get your wheels underneath you in a way that you can skate around and not fall down all the time. Uh, but after that, you have to learn sort of like the mechanics of the game. You have to learn like how scoring works. There's tons of strategy involved as well. So I would say our season, uh, we play against each other for about three months, but we have like six months building to that, six to eight months. So a roller derby match is called a bout. Um, it is two teams facing off against each other to try and get the most number of points in about an hour of gameplay. So we've got two 30 minute periods um, and then a half time in between then. Each of those periods is made up of uh, these things called jams, which can go up to two minutes, but can be as short as 10 or 15 seconds. Um, on the track, there are skaters called jammers and blockers. Uh, jammers try to get points by lapping other skaters and blockers try to stop them by pretty much any means necessary, uh, as long as it's like legal contact. The Toronto Roller Derby is an entirely a volunteer run organization. We don't have people with paid positions or anything like that. So we have to find a space to rent in Toronto where we can put down a derby track, which is no small feat. We need at least a hockey rink's worth of space. All of our referees are also um, volunteer positions. You need seven referees to play a game of roller derby. This is probably the like buildup of months of months of work for Toronto Roller Derby. The day of, we have to do, everyone has to show up and help set up for the bout. So everyone has to come lay a track or set up the bar or help NSO or do something to make sure that the production goes on. Um, and then we also do off skates warm up to make sure that our bodies are warm and ready to go. We do an on skates warm up um, where we're making sure that our wheels are good with the floor that we're using. We sort of know if the floor is slippery or sticky, which can make a huge difference to the way that you play. Um, and then we always do like a team cheer right before the first whistle. Roller derby to me is such a cool sport. I'm so sure that I don't look like the typical athlete and I love the fact that I, I actually am. I think if you watch the games, you will totally see that there's a lot of athleticism that goes into this game. And I love the fact that I can, I can play roller derby, I can be an athlete, I can do it with black lipstick on, my friends can do it with blue lipstick, we can do it with winged eyeliner, and it doesn't change the fact that we are athletes and we're so good at what we do.